promised better things for us. Okay? Because the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, has a favorite people. And he's going to give this favorite people a heavenly kingdom. A kingdom that's blueprinted and formatted and patterned after his mind. How he want a kingdom to be. Another thing about us, those of us that are in this truth, that understand this truth, we are men of vision. We are men of vision. Outer vision and inner vision. Inner vision is the most important part. The ability to see the future. Okay? Remember the prophets were called what? They were called seers. The word seer means a visionary. We're able to see into the future, man. We do see that one day this planet Earth is going to be ruled in righteousness pursuant to 2 Peter 3 and 13. We're going to see a pristine planet Earth, man. All right, it's going to go back to how it was during the time of the Garden of Eden. Even better than the Garden of Eden. Which the Garden of Eden, the word Eden is from the Hebrew Aidan, which means joy or paradise. The joy and paradise of the Heavenly Father is the Earth. He created the earth to be a joy and a paradise. Now the Garden of Eden was Palestine. Chosen land, Israel. That is the Garden of Eden. Okay, so once again, this earth, after all this hell has passed, after the storm has passed, this earth is going to once again be the Garden of Eden, like it's supposed to be. And we're looking forward for that. Again, 2 Peter 3 and 13, we look for the new heavens and the new earth. New heavens mean a new rulership. New earth meaning the earth will be rejuvenated based upon the word new from the Greek kainos. The earth will be rejuvenated and it's going to be in righteousness. That's what we're looking for. Be an angel flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.